Hey everyone. I'm going to do a quick video just to show you how to export large objects out of Sculpt or how to how to cut them if they if they export OBJ is going to be too large to open in anything else. Okay, so we'll load up. Okay, so this is one I've been working on this Raptor for a 3D print and as a Raptor, the whole body by itself. When I exported the OBJ, it was um, it was just too big to open anything. It was nearly, nearly two gigabytes the OBJ, so this is too big. So what I'll do here is we'll just turn off all the layers we don't need. So we'll go back to layer one because I don't usually build on layer one. I usually build on all the sub layers. So we'll go now to the settings and we'll make sure we're fixed up a snap grid on small snapping box or box so now we'll just quickly we'll just create these are just just basically I just do some of this it doesn't matter what size you do it really as long as you try not to scale up and down when you do it because it um you can just use this as your uh, your guide then and it makes it easier for just get a little bit smaller, I'm a little bit big there. So about there should be another one. And we'll do one through there. And one through there. Actually, for the sake of this thing, we'll just do one. Which will be easier. So that's our guide. So I just want to cut this in half to export. I mean, I'm not, this is only just for the demonstration purposes. So we want to get... We'll, we'll export the front half first and then the rear half. So now we'll swap to our layer which the dinosaur's on, which is uh, layer 1.1. And if you're doing multiple cuts, you just want to make sure you remember which side, that which piece you want to have one that'll include the piece the guide's in as well. Because see, I've got it, so it's snapping to the guide. So I'll do. I'll get rid of the back half from the, including the guide and back initially. And the other trick probably to do would be to, once you've done your guides, save it as a different copy, because that way your guides are in the same spot. If you do have a, an issue like midway through um, deleting everything, if you notice I'm trying not to rescale here just to keep the scale the same just getting rid of all this other stuff here okay that's done that's just a bit of an artifact it's not going to export so now I'll just turn off the guide and then we'll go save export and you export as an OBJ I'm not going to because I don't need to but then you'd export that and then what I then do would do is just click undo and just keep clicking undo until it undoes everything back to where it was uh, the other way is well if you've got the guide save you could just reload reload the sculpt again and now we're back here again and now I want to take everything from it having a bit of a trouble here we only want to so that's why you have the guide because see now I can just position this so I can take everything up to the guide it can just be a matter of just getting um, choosing the right scale and then making sure that it lines up with your guide and that's the, that's pretty much the reason you have them there so that you can know that you're not overlapping or you're not taking away too much or missing pieces because that was what I struggled with at the start was just trying to figure out the best way that I could get it cleanly in half because if you just if I just deleted half of it I had to make sure if I did it again I'd keep the same in the other half but anyway you probably get the picture now anyway so and that's kind of the idea and then I'd delete that I'll go back in again and I'll finish this one get to where yep 
it's going to do it. Not quite. That's better. It can be a little bit time consuming, especially depending on how big your model is, but it, it definitely works because it, I was able then, once I cut this into four, four, I think maybe five pieces, I was able to again get it into um, Windows 3D Builder to do the plain cut tool in there. Too much. You do end up with a little bit of artifacts like this, or that's just because of the, the way the, how the, some of the voxel sizes are uh, but probably larger in the center but you can kind of fix that in um, Windows 3D Builder now I'll just get rid of the rest of it turn off the eyes and then turn off the guide and then obviously export that and then they should perfectly line up again in the yeah, external 3D app so you can just keep like sometimes you might find that this this could still be too big so then you could do a guide and cut it long ways or or cut the legs off or whatever it's just there's just different ways of doing it but this one definitely works it's a little bit time consuming but it's basically a plain cut tool and sculpt the uh, oh hope you enjoyed that cheers for watching